The movie starts as we go through a house that looks to be underwater. This city was home to a girl named Eliza. She spoke in sign language because she was voiceless. She was tortured as a child by someone. The scars on her neck indicate that an organ was taken from her. As a result, she became silent and has never spoken since. Eliza was utterly alone in this world because she had no family. Her neighbor's name was Giles. She treated Eliza as if she were a family member. He was a superb painter. Eliza worked as a lab cleaner. Her best friend had also worked there. They were extremely close to one another and adored each other. Other people disliked Eliza and constantly hurt her. As a result, Eliza only talked to a few people. An officer informed them that a team was arriving at the lab while they were cleaning it. They're bringing something mysterious. That thing was precious and had never entered this lab. That team quickly arrives. It had an enormous water tank. There was something in there. When Eliza approaches it, it begins to move and make noise. Then, a team arrives and transports it to a safer location. Eliza and her friend were unable to understand anything. The following day, while cleaning, they heard something from that room. The room where the water tank was placed. From that room, a colonel emerges. He was very egoistic. He supervised the entire project. His hand was bleeding. He sits on his knees because he is in such severe pain. A team arrives, carrying the colonel. Then Eliza and her friend are told to clean the room. When they enter the room, they discover blood. Someone's two severed fingers were also visible. That was a colonel. Maybe the thing that was brought here hurt her. Eliza places these fingers in a package. Eliza's friend goes to make a call. Eliza notices a massive water tank there. It was made out of glass. When she approaches it, she notices a strange creature inside. It has two hands and feet, just like us. Eliza places her hand on the glass, and the creature places its hand precisely there. Eliza's friend and a man show up at the same time. That creature is moving backward. Eliza acknowledged what exactly is in that lab. She returned the following day for lunch. There was a massive pool there. That creature resided within the water. Eliza is sitting on the pool wall. She also had an egg with her. She strikes a spoon to make noise. Hearing this sound, the creature emerges from the water. When Eliza notices this, she removes the eggshell. She wanted to give the egg to the creature herself, but the creature was scared of Eliza. As a result, it does not take the egg from her. Then Eliza places this egg on the wall. That creature takes the egg with it into the water. Following that, Eliza exits. The colonel then calls Eliza and her friend. He was the colonel whose fingers were severed by that beast. He says it is your responsibility to clean that lab only. You will not stay after your work is completed. Because the creatures there are disgusting and filthy. We retrieve it from the mud. We've been enemies all along. You too will be far from this creature. Eliza, however, ignores it. She goes there again for lunch. Today, she brought a music system to make some noise. She controls the music. She places the egg on the wall again. She enjoys her meal afterward. That creature emerged from the water. It also began to listen to music. It also consumes the egg that Elsa placed there for it. They began communicating with one another using sign language. This series develops over time. Then they became friendly. Eliza was satisfied with their friendship because she was entirely alone in this world. She only knew two people in this world. Giles, a neighbor, and one of her friends. She is overjoyed to have found her third friend. She doesn't care if her third friend is creepy or a different creature. She is overjoyed to have it as her friend.
She used to go there every day during lunch and spend time with it. The two used to communicate with gestures. They will eventually talk to each other. The doctors eventually arrive, however. They were performing research on this creature. They catch the two of them speaking in secret. They believe there is a link between this creature and Eliza. They do not tell Eliza that they have seen everything and know everything. They were also scientists. They were researching this creature for America, but they were German agents and spies. There is a cold war between the two countries. As a result, both countries kept a close eye on each other's political and scientific activities. That is why these doctors secretly shared information about this creature with Germany. The following day, Eliza returns to see this creature. She notices that the creature is mercilessly chained. He feels sorry for the creature after witnessing this, because its entire body was bleeding. Then, she senses that someone is approaching. She quickly hides. The colonel was there. He despised this creature tremendously. He owned an electric iron rod. So he shocks it. Then, the general shows up. He says he expected it to be small, but it's so big. Colonel informs him that the Amazonians revere it as a god. They throw fruits, flowers, and other items into the water for it. Colonel claims that to learn more about this creature, we must first kill it because research on it can only be done after it has been killed. And no matter how strong his body is, we can do anything without cutting him. However, the doctor informs them that its condition has worsened. The strange thing is that it breeds from two different places. We should research it rather than kill it. However, they refuse to listen to the doctors. The doctors say that if we do not keep it in water, it will die. When I saw that creature, I thought it had passed out. Finally, they immerse this creature in the water. The doctor interrupts the general by stating that you cannot kill it. The general refuses to be told what to do. I have complete authority and am capable of doing anything. The general commands the colonel to manipulate the creature's body. We want to know what it is. Doctors are saddened because they did not want to kill this tongueless creature. They are unquestionably spies, but they are also humans. As a result, they feel sympathy for that creature. They did not want it killed. Eliza was also there. Eliza, like the doctors, sustains injuries. When she returns home, she tells Giles everything because she fears they will kill the creature. She claims they are like me. They are tongueless and my friend. I want to help. He becomes happy when he sees me. My weakness does not bother him, and he accepts me in any condition. Giles says that we cannot save him. These people are extremely powerful due to the people in their custody. We are ordinary humans, and we cannot compete with them. After saying this, he leaves. Eliza was sorrowful. Giles shared a similar sentiment because he and Alice were alone in this world, with only that creature for company. Giles returns and tells Eliza he'll help her save the creature. I'll do what you want because we're family. Eliza becomes happy and relaxed. They intend to free that creature from those cruel people. Eliza takes a wise step by going there. She directs the cameras upward so no one can see they ran with this creature. Then, she fills a cart with towels. Then, she approaches the chained creature. It was nearly impossible to open these chains. When those doctors arrive, Eliza is taken aback by their presence. However, doctors wanted to see the creature alive. As a result, he gives Eliza the keys to these locks. Eliza unlocks that creature's locks. This creature was emotionally aware and intelligent. Eliza places the creature in a cart. She starts exiting through a tunnel. Eliza's friend learns about her task. As a result, she blocks the cart and declares, you will not do it. However, 
The lazy explains to her that if we leave it here, cruel people will kill it. Hearing this, she agrees to accompany Eliza. They start to move. Giles tried to get inside, but the guard refuses to let him inside. The guard suspected their card was fraudulent, but the doctor assisted them once more. They poisoned the guards. They got that creature out of there. However, the colonel doubts that there is a problem with the door. But when he got to the door, everyone had already left. Eliza brings it home and places it in her tub. Because that creature lives in water and cannot survive without it. Eliza was delighted to meet her friend. She decides to abandon this creature at sea on the 10th because it will rain that day. As a result, it will proceed to its final destination, the sea. Eliza goes to work the next day, so no one will suspect her of freeing the creature. Giles was taking care of that creature at home. In the meantime, however, he fell asleep. The creature emerges from its bathtub. It kills their pet cat. Giles sees him eating their cat. Giles forbids him from doing so, but he runs away. It injures Giles' hand. When Eliza returns home, she doesn't find this creature. Giles claims he became scared. He's not at fault. Go and return it. Eliza does the same and brings it home. Because that creature had feelings, it was ashamed of what it had done previously. He places his hand on Giles's and instructs him to do the same. Giles also rests his hand on his head. The following day, Giles notices that the wound is completely healed. Giles was delighted to discover that his head had grown hair. Eliza's friendship with that creature grows into love over time. They began to love each other. They got very close to each other. In the lab, the general warns the colonel to find that creature. Otherwise, his professional and personal lives will be ruined. Colonel becomes very concerned as she considers this. Colonel doubts the doctor's claim that he freed him. He knew the doctor didn't want to kill the creature. So Colonel visits his house. The doctor encounters two people outside his home. Both of the men shoot the doctor. However, the colonel kills both of them there. Colonel had acknowledged that the doctors were speaking Russian. That meant they were spies. Colonel asks them to tell him more about the creature and who kept it. But the doctor doesn't tell him anything. Colonel tortures the doctor to get him to reveal the truth. However, the doctor informs him that he is only a cleaner. He died while saying this. When Colonel hears the cleaner's name, she suspects her friend, not Eliza. They were hired as a result of their actions. Colonel now visits Eliza's house. He inquires with Eliza's friend about that creature, but she doesn't tell him anything. She claims that I know nothing about it. Her husband was also present. He discloses everything to the Colonel. He claims the creature is at Eliza's home. I observed my wife speaking with Eliza. He goes to Eliza's house, angry after hearing this, but her friend informs her before he arrives. She warns her to leave because Colonel is trying to capture the creature. It rained today, the 10th. She wanted to leave this creature on this day, so she took it to sea. When Colonel arrives at Eliza's house, he finds it empty. He discovers a note underneath the calendar Today is the day to leave that creature to the sea, it read. Eliza arrived at her destination. She was bidding farewell to her closest friend that creature. This made them both extremely sad. They knew they'd never meet again. But if this creature doesn't enter the water, it will die. As a result, it moves forward. But then the colonel appears. He shoots both of them. Both of them fall there, but that creature stands up and approaches him before he can shoot again. Colonel observes that he is injured but still alive. This creature then kills the Colonel. The creature then picks up Eliza and takes her to the depths of the sea. It places its hand on the scars on Eliza's throat. 
These scars develop into gills. These enable Eliza to breathe in water. Eliza was also able to breathe under the water. Eliza is given a new life after she dies in a fire. In fact, that creature possessed many abilities that saved Eliza as well. They accept each other, and that creature gives Eliza new life in the water. Both attract each other's affection and remain in the depths of the water indefinitely. Giles was also happy for both of them because they got along. This is the final scene of the film.